Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Krista from K Marie Plans. We're hopping on to do a, another plan with me. Um, I am kind of starting off. <laughs> I already put some stuff down already. Um, I was filming and then I actually, by accident, my fiance walked in. Um, so we got to talking for a minute and I was like, you know what, we're just going to start over because I like lost my train of thought and everything so we're just kind of starting off from here I didn't even put down that much as you can see I just put down some headers and then the quote box which is really cute it says coffee naps wine repeat um, but I should mention too this is the kit that I'm using this is from Nicole Alexia designs it's the stay home kit um, I don't believe this is in her shop anymore this is definitely an older kit but you know, I still like to utilize all my kits. I want to, you know, get through them and use them. And I love this one. I think it's gorgeous. It's very neutral, um, but it has the pops of the silver foil throughout it. And that's the one thing about her kits that I absolutely love. I love that, like, the foil and stuff is usually included in her kits. So you don't really need to buy, like, full box overlays and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know. I just love that everything's all included in one and her prices are pretty good. So yeah, really excited. And I actually placed an order with her recently. So I'm really excited because I have not placed an order with her in a very long time. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just kind of wanting to get back into using her kits. So this is what the kit looks like. This is the full box, um, page. So yeah, just missing that box right here, obviously already mentioned that um so that is that page i did use these headers here they just say today and i put those at the top i figured i could use some of the bow headers for the rest of the spread but you also get your foil the washi strips and some skinny labels down at the bottom then you have this page it's probably my favorite page it has your boxes you have some cute like little scalloped little like details here which i love that's so unique I feel like not many kits carry those, um, but then you have some checklists, some sidebar checklists, appointment labels, and then I love her washi. So this is the washi. It's really, really pretty. Um, again, very neutral, this kit. Just very simple, but I love how it comes with date covers, and then you have some more um, like functional stuff here as well. So that is the kit. It's a you know, four-page kit. Not a huge, huge kit by any means, but it works pretty decently for me. I may or may not have to pull some stuff in for this week. I'm not 100% sure. Um, like I might need maybe more like labels or little things or something. I don't know. I can always cut. I don't know if anyone else has done this, but some of the checklists, I usually sometimes will cut them so then I can make them and use them as little things. So maybe I'll do some of that if I need to. So let's just keep rolling and getting into this plan with me. So... I am going to probably try to stagger the boxes a little bit this week. I know in the previous video I did all of the boxes in the center, but I think I am going to switch it up this week. Um, so I hope this isn't a big deal, but I'm going to turn this just a little bit just so I can get a better angle. I don't know why, I just feel like I always um, feel the need to like turn my planner upside down or sideways so I can get a better angle. So there is that box, and then I, th I think I'm going to like alternate. So I think I'm going to do, you know what, we're just going to wing it. <laughs> um, and I did pull some bougie boxes already just ahead of time, so I have them, and they're in my uh, Nightmare Before Christmas sticker book. I love this movie. I grew up watching this movie, so anything Nightmare Before Christmas, I love. Um, so this is from Sassy Planner Co. I love her sticker books. Um and like her tweezers and everything. I don't know if I'll need the, well, I'll pull them out. I may or may not need them. Um, but I love her tweezers too from Sassy Planner Co. I mentioned these in my previous video. I love tweezers. Um, but if you guys are interested in her sticker books or albums or tweezers, she does have sticker kits, anything like that, I will leave um, a link below. Carly, my friend Carly does PR for that shop. So you can get, I think it's 20% off using her code i will leave it linked if you guys are interested um so yeah i did pull bougie boxes these are from sticky essentials yeah before i forget so we are just going to pull these and i do love having these on hand i'm like all about the bougie boxes this year 
I feel like, I don't know, I used to do spreads without them, and, you know, don't get me wrong, I love doing spreads without them, like, it's not like it changes much, but, I don't know, I've just been, like, getting in the habit of using bougie boxes, so now that's, like, all I like to do, I guess, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to do like every other and then kind of work my way down. So for the next box here, let's do, we're going to do the lashes. I love this box. I think it's so cute with the little, I don't know if I should zoom you guys in so you can see this. Look at how cute that is. It has little lashes on it. But we're going to put this one here. And keep it moving. Put the bougie box. Does anyone know too if there's any other shops that sell um, the underlays, like the bougie boxes, but they have like different patterns? The only ones I've seen really are these ones. Whoops. That are like just kind of like confetti. I mean, I know um, Planet Hannah has some. Um, and I love hers. I just wasn't sure if there was any shops that had them in like the roll. Like, let me share what I'm talking about. Those are overlays. Okay, so like this for example, this is gold, but it's basically a roll of the bougie. Does anyone have rolls that have different patterns or is it all usually just like the confetti? I don't really know, but that's that's all I've really seen. So I don't know if that's just you know the easiest like to produce so let me know if you guys know um we're gonna move to this box here i think we're gonna do that for friday and there is no like double box scene or anything so i can kind of put down whatever whatever i want wherever i want i usually try to do a double box scene if there is one but, whoops, as I hit my light. I love these. Such a fun investment, because I just love putting them down. It just, like, makes me so happy. Okay, and then I'll do this one for Sunday. Because Sundays are usually, like, a lazy day for me, or at least I try to make it a lazy day. So that seems like a cozy day to me. Um, moving on, let's get into, let me open it up here and see how we're doing. Let me zoom you out just a tad. Okay, and let me do the headers next. I think I'll just do these bows. Part of me is almost wanting to like color block but I don't know if I'll do that. I've never color, well, maybe I have, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever color blocked a spread before. Do you guys normally color block? I've seen it happen and it's like so pretty. I really want to. I know a couple kits coming up that I've like pre-planned. I know I did make it so it would be like a color blocking spread. So I don't know, maybe I'll do that with this one. It just kind of depends. Cause like if you have a kit that has a ton of stuff to work with, it's usually I feel like easier for me to try to color block but if it's a smaller kit like this I just get nervous because I don't know if I have enough like to color block but that's just me yeah either the box is off or the header is off I'm not sure okay well we're just gonna keep it moving so today is Thursday when I'm filming this so I hope everyone has been having a good week it's been super nice this week. Oh my god. Like, the snow is pretty much melted. I've been, like, leaving our back porch, like, our back screen door, like, just open. I've been leaving the door open because it's just so nice. And I'm so excited. So it's been in, like, the 60s, which I love. I think, like, 60s and 70s is, like, the perfect 
temperature in my book like I don't know anything above 70 I feel like is or like above 80 probably gets to be a little too much but that's just me <laughs> so it's just been a nice treat to have some like nicer weather this week and like yesterday it was like you know kind of sunny and the day before it was sunny out all right so let's move on to yeah we'll do a bougie box over here yeah it's definitely more comfortable for me to oh my god the cat hair anyone else have pets dogs cats whatever it may be that has hair it just flies everywhere love my pets to death i just <laughs> that's one thing i'm just like there is hair all the time all the time i'm so used to it though but it's just funny like sometimes i'll put stickers down like under a like under a bougie box i've found cat hair and i'm like that's cute not really but it's fine so ready for Friday can I just tell you this week has been actually like it's been like a mellow week as far as work but it's just been kind of a slow week which is kind of a bummer I usually you know prefer okay yeah I need a box here I usually prefer when it's like did I mess this up no, I didn't. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I usually prefer weeks that, like, keep me busy because I feel like it goes by faster. But, like, this week has just been so slow with work. Like, my emails have been slow. Like, as in, like, it doesn't seem like many people are working or there's just not much going on this week. So, I feel like these days have just been going on and on. So, definitely, I'm ready for Friday. Anyone else? even though you'll probably watch this after Friday. <laughs> so I hope everyone's having a good weekend when you're watching this. This will probably be uploaded either Sunday or Monday, depending on... I know I'm going out of town Saturday into Sunday, so um, I might not be able to upload on Sunday, but I will do my best to get that taken care of if I can. I feel like it's so soothing to put stickers down. Anyone else agree? I love it. Oh no. Okay. All right. So then we'll put headers down and that will be the last of it. Because everything else is bougie, right? I didn't stagger them to the bottom. Mainly just the top and the middle rows. Ooh, I like it. I do like that. Okay. So I do have the one box here that's left. This isn't really my favorite box, to be honest with you. It's like a lingerie little box that has like a face mask. I don't know. It's it's all right, but it's not my favorite. So I can definitely like do away with that one. So getting into... Oh, not these ones. The other bows, okay. Getting into the next row of headers. So I'm really excited, like I mentioned, to get some new kits from her because I'm sure, I think by now, yeah, she's definitely changed the format of her kits. Like just a little bit. So I think I ordered a couple of kits, so you will definitely see those in a haul at some point here yeah that box is a little off but it's okay I'm just gonna leave it because I don't want to ruin the paper or anything All 
one more header. Okay. Now we bougie. We put down these bougies. Okay. And I think too, coming up here, I'm going to do like a question and answer video. I have loved watching these videos. Like I know Plana Hannah's done it. Um, Amy of Amy Ray Plans does it. Like um, just having her friends and having people ask questions or I can totally like look up, you know, questions and answer like offline too. But I just think it would be fun to have you guys ask some questions and I can answer. I've been like loving those videos recently. So if you guys are interested in that, I will probably do it and I can maybe do it for the day by day. Maybe. Although maybe not the day by day because I feel like during the day by day you kind of describe what you're doing and everything. So probably not the day by day now that I think about it, but um, for like putting the base down, maybe for my next spread. I will certainly see if you guys want to answer some or have me answer some questions for you. It can be whatever. It doesn't have to be planner related. It can be anything. Anything at all. All right, last one. Perfect. Alrighty. Done with that. Now moving on to the sidebar and the washi. Let me do the washi first. I love how hers is like separated. This is this reminds me kind of of like glam planner. How there's like different like strips. So let me move you in for this part so I can share with you guys the washi a little bit closer and again disregard my desk oh my god it's such a hot mess i need to get a new uh like cover for my desk this is just a really like old desk and underneath there's like a bunch of scratches so <laughs> it's like either way i'm getting scratches so i wanted to put a new cover on it and then i did which this one has lasted a bit but now, huh, do I need to move this one up? This is a little too long. Yeah, let me just move that up a teeny bit. Um, so yeah, so I got this cover. It was like off Amazon, super cheap. Um, and they have a bunch of different ones you can order off Amazon. They have like marble, like the wood grain. And I'm sorry if you hear a dog barking. Our neighbors downstairs got a dog and it literally, it's always barking, literally always barking. So yeah, but anyways, <laughs> got it off of Amazon. It's been working nice. I mainly wanted it just so I could take like better pictures of my planner. Um, but I think I definitely need to get a new one because I've ripped through it. It's my own fault. I've been using like my slice tool. Let me grab it. I've been using like this tool and like I didn't put anything underneath the stickers while I was doing it. So it's like my own fault. That's why it, that's why it got ripped and here we are. So I just haven't gotten around to ordering one yet. But, oh my God, I love this washi so much. this washi like just stops at the bottom of this page it might go over a teeny bit but I'm not gonna worry about it okay so there's the washi we are done with the washi perfect 
So let me zoom you guys out just a touch. You can see kind of how it's coming along. Love it. Now the sidebar. So in her kits, I think this is still the same. I could be wrong, but I know she only does one habit tracker, which is not that big a deal to me. I usually do two, but definitely not a deal breaker at all. And then moving into dinners. Do I want to grab? Yeah, because I'm noticing there's obviously no other headers that say like dinners, you know, errands or work. You know, normally most kits will have like, well, they're, uh, shoot. Let me put this down, and I totally just missed that. Sticking that there for a second. I'm going to put the This Week sticker down. I kind of forgot that this was included. Okay, so there's This Week. Here's the habit. And let me pull... Okay, this is actually my foil little binder. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Like, I'm, I'm st just kind of, like, starting off with my foil, like, journey. So, my little foil thing is very small, but I'm just going to grab... Where did I have that? I have, like, a half-cut header little section. If you guys want me to, like, go through, like, my kits or foil or my, like, character binder and stuff, let me know. I can definitely do that. I know everyone has a different, here we go. I know everyone has a different system, different things that they use. So I have a bunch of half cut headers. I just would like to get some use out of them. So here's some from Scribble Prints Co. And I've been liking to like liking using those for um, the sidebar, just kind of using it as, you know, a header. But this kit doesn't really, oh, oh my God, I am making a mess. Um, but yeah, I've been using them as headers. I just feel like if kits don't come with headers, I just like to add a little bit more foil. And this is also something too that's from Sassy Planner Co. She has like sticker albums or photo albums, whatever you want to call it. So link in the description if you guys are interested. So yeah, let me move into using some of these. And I'm probably talking all over the place. So hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, this will be my dinners. I don't know why, but that's just one thing I've always marked in my planner is dinners. So there's that. And then there are some checklists as well. So let me use a three heart. Oh, well, it's a bow. I'm sorry. Three bow checklists. She doesn't do heart checklists in her kits. And I will use that. Probably to mark some cleaning and bills or, you know, I always kind of make little lists. Actually, you know what? We're going to do a to-do because I have some to-do headers. So we're going to, let me do the light gray. We're going to do a to-do checklist. Perfect, because that matches the gray checklist here. So zoom you guys in. Hope you can see that all right. Ignore that. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, I don't know, part of me is like, maybe I should use this other box. I just, I don't really, oh, and there's my cats. Um, I just don't really have a ton to mark in the sidebar. So we're going to go for it. Let me just put another half cut half cut header and I think my cats are going to be crying so what else is new <laughs> sorry guys here let me go open the door for him 
I just sometimes try to lock them out because I feel like they get into stuff. But let me let me open the door for him. Hold on. And then I think I might just we're just gonna wait out those dots here um, and this is my Tombow correction tape I actually get this off Amazon you can buy it in like like a bulk a bulk pack it comes like this you can get like 10 of them and it's super super affordable um, but yeah, so I will put another half cut header at the bottom here. And then that should be it for the sidebar. Alright, yeah, I like it better with a box or something here because I don't really have a ton going on. Yeah, so I've been doing that actually a lot in my spreads. I just put like the extra full box that comes with the kit in that sidebar item or sidebar item, sidebar section. All right, so moving back out, we're coming along. We just got to do some date covers. And let me pull out, I think I have some silver date numbers I do okay so I do have this sheet here from the planner co I used to do PR for them so I do have some of these on hand so let me mark these then so what did I say it's the 18th through the 20 nope 15th yeah the 15th through the 21st so yeah so these are just silver date numbers and their circles, so they fit perfectly on these date covers. So this is another reason why I love tweezers, because getting these date dots off of these sticker sheets is sometimes impossible, because I have like nails and like <laughs> I have nails that get in the way. Sometimes it's kind of hard. So tweezers definitely make it easier. There we go. Yeah. I don't even know why I try sometimes to use my fingers. I feel like my nails actually like match the spread because it's like light gray. I guess this kit was meant to be used. All right. Perfect. And I did say too in the last video how the, yeah, the whiteout does stick out from you know above the date cover but that's fine by me I'm not really worried about it I can I can certainly put um, like half cut headers or something above there I might actually have some washi too I can put like some simply gilded or something I don't know if that would be a little too much but I almost just put Sunday on Saturday. That would have been awesome. Perfect. Alright. So there is the base. 
really really loving it i will do a little wiggle here you can see the foil super pretty so i will definitely zoom you guys in and we will work on the day by day All right guys, so here we go. We are into the voiceover portion of this video. Hopefully it's not too much of a train wreck. <laughs> this is my second time actually recording this portion. Um, but anyways, let's get into this. So the first thing I laid down was the self-care uh, self script from Jojo Kwan Plans in my habit tracker. And then I am using an appointment label and marking my work for the day. I worked at the office this day and you will definitely see that you know each day is different. I work sometimes in the office and sometimes at home. So I did work at the office this day. That script is from Planahanna along with that icon. It's a little laptop icon and I actually use that same icon the whole week to mark my work. I then move in and use a scalloped little sticker with a Coffee Monday script, which is from Kinsey's Creations. And then I use a Sticky Perks Duncan Ice Coffee um, icon, which I love those. They're so cute. And you'll see plenty of coffee stickers this week. Yeah, we have a little variety. <laughs> And moving in to the next box, I marked that I melted some new wax, which I actually don't go in and like fill in my spread. Um, you'll see some like finished, you know, parts of it. I'll probably post it on my Instagram or something, but I mainly just share, you know, the boxes and everything laid down. Um, but the stuff written in, like I mentioned, you'll probably see that in um, some pictures or something. So yeah, so that little um, heart like wax icon is actually from Fantasy Wax Melts or I guess you could say SPC really. Um, it was from a bundle, a wax bundle that I received. And I thought that heart matched so figured it was perfect. And then I did have a YouTube binge which is pretty much a daily occurrence but I marked it on this day and then I used a Jojo Kwan uh, script and then I used a Crafty Planner um, YouTube icon. I did load the dishwasher. I feel like that's never an exciting event but you'll see it's something I do quite often. <laughs> um, but the load dishwasher script is from Planahanna and then the like washing the dishes kind of icon, the silver icon. Um, it's from a shop that is no longer, and it was a shady shop. I'm sure many of you can think of what shop I'm referring to. Um, but yeah, I still have those stickers, so I figure, you know what, it's best to probably use them while I can. So there is that part. I am marking now that I have um, an Instagram post. That script is Jojo Quan Plans along with um, a Crafty Planner Instagram icon. And then <laughs> I get into this part where I notice that the label will not fit. So I have to do some like sticker surgery and kind of work everything out here and move and adjust, you know, everything. So moving that up and then I am able to put the label back down. I finally go into Mark that I watch the Cecil Hotel documentary. I don't know if you guys have seen that but it is such an interesting and like I don't know it's just very like intriguing and just mysterious I don't know it's really good if you guys are into like true crime documentaries definitely recommend watching the Cecil Hotel documentary so into Tuesday starting off my day again like I always do marking my work and same icon this day I did work from home and that is also another Jojo Kwan plans that's a custom script 
and I do use some of the labels like I kind of flip flop them just to make sure I have enough of them um, so I did go in with that and then I put a little emoji that has a little winter hat and a face mask and just making mainly marking that we had a lot of snow that day where I live in central New York we get snow pretty often hopefully at this point it's gone fingers crossed with this with this where we live you never you really never know some days it's super cold some days it's warmer like it's so hot and cold and back and forth it's just very unpredictable and then after that I did use another emoji with the headphones to mark that I listened to a podcast and I can tell you right now, it was probably the Crime Junkies podcast because I'm obsessed. Um, and then below that, I did put a label and I mainly just marked, or um, yeah, I put a label down so that I could mark that um, I had to call my doctor's office back because they left me a voicemail. And moving on to that box right there, I did put down a Nightingale Paper Co. Winston character. Um, kind of almost like a disgusted looking <laughs> facial expression. Um, on this day I did receive a wax order and unfortunately my package smelled of cigarette smoke. So yeah, it was just a slight bummer. So I was just kind of like, ugh, like grossed out almost in a way. So I did use that character to mark that. And then I did do some filming, so that filming script is from Kinsey's Creations, and the camera icon is from that shop that shall not be named. Um, and then I used another Netflix TV logo from um, Once More With Love, and a cat cuddle script from, that is also Kinsey's Creations. And then I go in with a little paw print icon, which is also, um, it was from an old Nicole Alexia Designs kit, actually. And on to Wednesday. Anyone else stick the stickers on their hands and do that all the time? I literally will stick, like, loads of stickers on my hand so that way I don't have to like go back and forth a million times. <laughs> so I did work at the office that day. And in with a label, I am marking that I got um, Duncan that morning on my way to the office. And the Duncan um, icon is from Crafty Planner Co. And the Duncan script in silver is from Magical Sticker Co. And on this particular day at work, it was a hot mess. I used that I give up icon, that little munchkin, because we were having like a ton of network issues and it was just it was making our jobs like super impossible that day like it was just so frustrating so I was like yeah it was just one of those days basically so that's why I marked that I give up because who doesn't have those days <laughs> and of course I'm doing some more sticker surgery I was doing a lot of back and forth in this spread I don't know why that was. I felt like I was struggling a little bit. And then I will be out of frame a little bit here. I apologize, but I did use one of the layering like little arrow icons to mark some happy mail. There we go. Good job, Krista. Pat on the back. Way to move your, you know, your planner in frame. That's perfect. Um, and then the happy mail script is from Jojo Kwan Plans and then the envelope is from Crafty Planner. Going in with some foil washi, I do mark that I had a workout that day. That is a old script actually from a previous Nicole Alexia Designs kit. Um, I have quite a few of those scripts left over so I just happened to use them, this kit, which is actually appropriate being a Nicole Alexia Designs kit actually. 
Um, and then that is a scribbler. I know they don't offer those anymore, but I do have some from like random rack bags, so I figure why not use them. I do not have blonde hair, but we're going to roll with it. And going into the next label, I am marking that I watch the Night Stalker documentary on Netflix, another true crime documentary, because I can't stop. And that little TV icon is from Coffee Monsters Co. That YouTube binge is from Magical Sticker Co. And the YouTube play button is from Planahanna. Okay. Getting into Thursday, I am starting off again working that I, or working, marking that I worked from home. Following by another label, and I have to mark this, but I placed a wax order, and that um, money little icon is from Plana Hannah. And I'm not sure what I was doing there, but here we are. We are back. So I am now going to mark that I was folding the clothes and doing some stuff around the apartment. Um, so that fold the damn clothes scripts from Plana Hannah and then the little Winston character is from Nightingale Paper Co. And then moving in with the next label, I am marking that I'm washing the dishes, shocker, with a Jojo Kwan plan script. And then the um, little like dish soap and plate icon is from Crafty Planner Co. I did um, actually some more filming. So I did a wax haul. I filmed some of that using one of those camera icons and then I did I was really good I worked out again I really wish I kept up with working out as much as you know I should be but hey whenever I do it I want to mark it my planner if you don't mark it it didn't happen right so yeah same concept when I mark the working out same script same scribbler then I use a layering arrow to mark that I did my nails, which I, when I say I do my nails, I actually do press on nails, so easy peasy, I just put some new nails on. And then I didn't mention it, but the nail script is a custom from Jojo Kwan Plans, and the nail polish little icon is from Crafty Planner Co. And we made it to Friday. I did again work from home. I had an oil change appointment this morning. So that is mainly why I worked from home that day, but I am marking it with that label and an emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. And then, of course, I'm out and about, so I need some coffee. So I did stop at Starbucks, another JoJo script, and then a Sticky Perks little Starbucks cup. I love her little Starbucks cups. They're so cute. Using a flag and a Plana Hannah Too Lazy to Do Shit script, <laughs> I am marking that I was too lazy. I had a Friday and I was just like not feeling it that day. Um, and then the little um, characters from uh, Once More With Love. And then I'm marking, I did um, listen to another podcast. And the podcast script is from Crafty Planner Co. Hopefully I will move the planner up into frame. You can do it. Come on. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> oh my God. Well, 
Hey, there's, that's better. Oh, okay. Well, I did mark that I got some Happy Mail. Um, and then at the bottom, I did mark that I did a cleaning spree and I used a crafty planner, um, like little Ellie icon and she's cleaning. And on a Saturday morning, my fiance was such a sweetie and he made me breakfast. And that cute little like stack of pancakes uh, foiled icon is from Alyssa's Craft Shop. And I did that fun, you know, cutting the box type of thing. I don't know how I didn't even know about that. I'm oblivious apparently. Um, I've been doing that a ton. So I did do that and I put the like engagement ring sticker from Once More With Love and then a More Wedding Plans custom script from Nightingale Planner or Nightingale Paper Co. Yeah, sorry, Nightingale Paper Co. because I did more wedding planning that morning. It was fun. It was my sisters, my mom, and then my soon-to-be sister-in-law. And then, you know, because I had people over, I had to clean. So I did use a clean the fucking house, pardon my language, script. <laughs> um, and then a little munchkin. And we move on to the kind of evening portion of this day. I did put some makeup on, so I did use an emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. The emoji is actually tweezing their eyebrows, but you know what? We're going to pretend I'm doing my makeup. That's what that's for. Um, and we went to like a sports bar in our area. So that is me and the gang in the emoji sticker. And then I did use a Pumpkin Paper Co. Um, like character, like facial icon of the girl sleeping, and that is to mark that I was tired AF. And we're on to Sunday already. Holy cow. But yeah, Sunday, I woke up with a headache. Never fun. Um, the character is actually from Sassy Planner Co., and the headache uh, script is from Kinsey's Creations. And we're moving in with another Sticky Perks um, Starbucks cup and a JoJo script. And I was going to go in with that washi strip, but it was a little too big, so I cut it down. And I was marking that we did our laundry using a sassy script from Planna Hanna and then an emoji icon. And of course, this day, which I love that Amazon delivers on Sundays, I received an Amazon package. That Kinsey's script is the Amazon one. Um, and then I did use a Crafty Planner Co. Ellie, who's holding Amazon bags. I love that. With a um, Wegman script below. We did go grocery shopping, and the Wegman script is from Plana Hannah. Wegman's for the win. And after we went to Wegmans, I just had an, like a hankering for a shamrock shake. I didn't get a shamrock shake though. I ended up getting the shamrock flurry and let me tell you, kind of underwhelming, but that's just me. But I did mark it. And then I do try to go with this box. Yeah, it did not work out. It was, a t the box was way too big. <laughs> so thankfully the tweezers come in handy and I can just peel that right off. And I did some filming that evening. And I used a Scribble Prints Co. circled icon with the camera. And then a filming script from Kinsey's Creations. So that is it, guys, for the spread. I hope you hung in there. I know it's still not perfect, but I appreciate you guys watching. I'll definitely get there with some practice. There's a wiggle.